Hi, this is Mr. Whipple again, and we're going to talk a little bit today about a thing called flag etiquette. Etiquette is a good word. We don't use it enough. Uh, it's basically respect or courtesy, how to, to do something properly. And today we're going to talk about how to properly handle the U.S. flag. Uh, the word that the military refers to the flag, they don't call it the flag. I mean, they do, of course. But normally when they're officially referring to it, they call it the colors, the colors of the United States. These colors don't run. Uh, they salute the colors. They don't salute the flag. Uh, we need to talk about some vocabulary uh, for that you're going to need for the upcoming year uh, when we handle the flag in class. Uh, one of the things you need to know is uh, so that we can talk about it. Uh, one of the things you need to know is the, the hoist, and you'll see that's the part of the flag that actually is connected to the flagpole. Uh, the hoist has these grommets in it, little round metal fasteners uh, at the top and the bottom of the hoist that they're what uh, the flag is physically attached to the pole by. Uh, the fly end is the opposite side of the hoist. Uh, it's the part that flaps in the breeze and, and flies proudly overhead. Um, and it needs to, when, when it's flying, it can't touch anything. It shouldn't touch any like trees or other buildings or other flags. It should have uh, no obstructions uh, anywhere around it. Uh, the fly itself is uh, it's the top and the bottom of the flag. Okay. And it's the length, of the, the length of the flag, the long part. The canton is where the design is. Now, for the American flag, it's in the upper left corner because that uh, normally is considered a place of honor and respect. Uh, sometimes the canton is in the middle of the flag. For example, in the Kentucky flag, the design is right in the middle. That part is called the, the canton. Uh, the field is also called the ground. It's the section between the hoist and the fly ends. So it's the body of the flag itself, or the ground. Uh, the United States flag code, last I'm going to talk about, is um, a very interesting piece of legislation. It didn't come around until like the 1930s, as a matter of fact. Um, before the 1930s, you could have commanding generals and officers and, and the governor of a state. They could design whatever flag they wanted. Now, we basically stuck to the 13 stripes, the blue canton with the one star for every state. But not everybody did it that way. If you were a military commander, you could make, you could design your own American flag. Uh, Perry, when he went to the North Pole, he had a specific American flag when they planted it on the North Pole. Each uh, commander would have his own flag. And so uh, in the 1930s, they thought there's, there's too much uh, confusion. There's too many different ways. We wanted to have one specific way of how to honor the flag, how to fold the flag, when to fly it, when not to fly it. Uh, but because it's a code, it's not really law. There's nothing that says you have to do it this way. Because the, the showing respect to the flag is something we do because we want to, not because we're forced to or coerced to. We follow the flag code because we want to, because it's the right thing to do. Um, we'll talk more about the flag code in another video. We'll also talk about how to, folding the, how to fold the flag uh, properly because we're going to be doing this in class this year, uh, learning to fold the flag, and then we'll be the ones to put it uh, up and take it down at the school. Uh, this is just a brief introduction. I wanted to give you the vocabulary. Make sure if you have any questions in class, you let me know.